You're the boss, so you can answer it. Who's the best pilot, Maverick or, or Iceman? <laughs> Capitano di vascello Pete Maverick Mitchell. Le parlerò apertamente. Lei non è la mia prima scelta. È qui dietro richiesta dell'ammiraglio Kasansky. Anche detto Iceman. Secondo lui lei ha ancora qualcosa da dare alla marina. Che cosa non lo immagino? You say all the relic to Tom Cruise in this movie. You are really brave. <laughs> That's why they call you Cyclone. <laughs> yes, yes. I stand up to Mr. Cruz. It's, it was a very fun, fun thing to do, by the way. You, in, in Mad Men, have one of the best monologues ever because you perfectly picture the last 20 years of, of, of cinema and, and TV shows. You say nostalgia is delicate but potent. Uh, do you believe it's true? And this Maverick... Is nostalgia at its best, in your opinion? I agree. I think that is true. I think it's uh, what I think that Joe and all the producers of the film, Jerry Bruckheimer, Tom himself, were very careful of was not leaning too heavily into the nostalgia of this and letting it be its own thing, letting this chapter of the story live in its own, uh, in its, in its own place and time. And I think that that's mm -hmm. why a, a big portion of the audience that has seen this film so far has, be, has been so moved, has been so emotionally uh, impacted by it, because it does have certain nostalgic elements, uh, but it really does continue the story of Maverick. And it shows him kind of growing up and, and learning to make different decisions and, and uh, learning to highlight different... Uh, parts of life and uh, I think that's that's pretty cool for people to see. Why aren't you in the football scene? I really wanted to to see you <laughs> in all that. <laughs> I was very Why? pleased I got to keep my shirt and my pants on for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah it was uh, <laughs> they had to they the, the, all of those guys worked out for quite some time to to get his uh, in shape for that. It was uh, it's very cool to be able to do to do something like that. Obviously my character is the boss, so he's not running around playing, uh, playing football with those guys. But uh, I, was, I was very pleased to keep my shoes on. Uh, I love your, your look in this movie because it, it's a mix between uh, disgust and curiosity. How yeah. did you find it? <laughs> well, I think that that's part of what the, what the character is. He's, he, need, he needs somebody like Maverick, but he knows that he has to also kind of contain that, uh, that energy. And I think that that's, that kind of push and pull is what, what gives the movie its dramatic tension, I think, especially in the second half. Your character is the boss, yes, and Maverick is a leader too. So in your opinion, what makes a good leader? Because your character wants simply to, um, the mission to succeed. Instead, Marek also wants his boys to, to live. So in your opinion, what makes a good leader? I think that good, good leaders have to take all of those things into, into account. You know, I think that uh, from Cyclone's perspective, he's in charge of not only the lives of these men and women, but the, he's responsible for the, for the equipment and he's responsible for all of the other stuff. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of, of, of you know, taxpayer-funded Uh, aircraft and, and what have you. And I think that, uh, you know, yes, the, uh, the, the, the number one objective is to, to complete the mission. Uh, but number one A is also to bring everybody home safely. Uh, so yeah, so I think he knows he needs Maverick up there in that, uh, in that plane. And uh, as much as it, it, it as, as much as the difficulties that Maverick brings along with him, They say to Tom Cruise in uh, to Maverick in this movie, uh, the end is inevitable. And he says, uh, but not today. It's almost like he's speaking about cinema. Do you believe that cinema will live along and prosper for, for many years? Maybe th also thanks to movies like this one. I think that that is, uh, that is a nice little wink and a nod to, to uh, where we are in cinema. I don't think cinema is going anywhere. I don't think the theatrical experience is going anywhere. I think when you have something like a global pandemic that obviously is a bump in the road for sure, but I think that there will always be a place for people to come together to see movies, 
as a group, I think that there's there's nothing like that. It doesn't it doesn't mean the same thing when you watch it on a laptop or you know on your phone or what have you. I'm 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 thrilled that we get to pr- that we get to uh, present this only in cinemas, uh, and I'm thrilled for people to get a chance to see it as it was meant to be seen, big and loud and in your face. You are the boss, so you can answer it. Who's the best pilot, Maverick or, or Iceman? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I think the proof's in the pudding. Mav's still doing it, so I'll, I'll, I'll give the nod to Maverick. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Great work and beautiful sweater. <laughs> <Very much. laughs> oh, I like your jacket, too. <laughs>